Hey twirlers, today I'm gonna start teaching you how to twirl a baton between your fingers. Let's start practicing. Hold the baton in our normal starting position, thumb to ball in the right hand, left hand on your hip, and feet in a right T. Start by pinching the baton between your thumb and index finger. Now slowly start to twirl the baton down and grab it between your index and middle finger. Then continue and grab it between your middle and ring finger, and then your ring and pinky finger. This is called a four finger twirl because you use all four of your fingers. If you are having trouble, take your left hand and work the baton between your fingers to help you get used to how it's supposed to move. Make sure the baton is moving with your palm facing up. Sometimes newer twirlers like to do finger twirls on the back side of their hand, but for this, we're using the side where your fingers can bend to catch the baton. Now let's take the baton from our pinky back to where we started. When the baton reaches your pinky finger, let it hit the back of your hand to change the direction. In competitive baton twirling, this is called a break. Never do this move in a routine because it stops the flow of the baton. This twirl is strictly just for practicing. After you let the baton hit the back of your hand to change the direction, move the baton between your ring and middle finger, and then between your middle and index finger, and then lastly, between your index finger and your thumb. Again, if you're having trouble with this, use your left hand to work the baton between your fingers. Let's try the whole thing in our right hand. Okay, twirlers, you know the drill. Everything we do in our right hand must be done in our left hand. So let's pass the baton over and hold it thumb to ball in our left hand. Place your right hand on your hip and stand in the left T. Pinch the baton between your thumb and index finger and slowly start to work it between each of your fingers just like before. And when it gets to the end, change the direction and work it back through. To make this twirl look cleaner, make sure you are holding the baton in front of your belly button and don't forget about your free hand and feet position. Before you go start practicing, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you can keep learning how to twirl a baton with me. Also, consider supporting my channel by making a donation or purchasing a t-shirt from my website, howtotwirlbaton.com, so I can keep bringing you these twirling tutorials for free. Have fun practicing twirlers, and I'll see you on the flip side.